be fine to him. Ha! I think this is my ruler. Sealed in a mayonnaise jar in the meat. Duncan Wagnall's front porch for the past 24 hours. This is the ruler! Aha! It's here! Okay. Hello and thank you for picking up a ruler. Here's a link for instruction on how to assemble your flashlight. In addition to the bolt gauge, I want to add some info that didn't fit on the ruler. Bolt is on the load. Plus this little rotary which is in the odd blank cylinder. And you can see how a small amount of torque can exert tons of force. Stuff, charts, things. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got all my parts here. Uh, I've got uh, my ruler base, I got the, the battery compartment, a little magnet, the, this thing, and then a momentary switch. And of course, I got my solder, my iron, and my cleaner here. But I think I'm okay. Um, I just I feel like there's something missing though. Um, something. Ah! I know exactly what I need. It's a Saturday in Orange County. Da -da 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 Make way for Prince Ali. Okay, so that's better. That's much better. Yes. So, we've got all of our parts kind of here. And uh, wait on the soldering iron to get hot. There we go. Now we got some. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, first things first, let's do the tiniest component first. This is our LED, and it's in this nice little um, protective package here. If I can get it open, this will be a small miracle. There we go. Now it's open. Now, you see there, we've got, uh, it's not going to focus. Anyway, so the little T, and the T is pointing that way. So, what we want is essentially, we're going to say that we're going to point it in the same direction as the little diode icon is pointing. And that's how we're going to line it up. So we're going to take our, our little guy. And we'll solder on the pad. Holy shit, it worked! At least one side's on there pretty good. I think. I hope. So looks like it's on there pretty good, hopefully. Feels like it's on there pretty good. It's not twisting or nothing. Alright! That's one down. Alright, now let's do the bat uh, let's do the switch here. Alright, so we just line that up, make sure it's good and square. Sometimes when you have too much caffeine in your system, you try to do some precision. It's got a little bit of the shakes going on. With this really fine work. this side. Uh, just a quick spot check. Looks like it's on there pretty good. All right. <laughs> then we got our battery deal. Okay, so battery. I'm assuming goes on like this. 
doesn't go upside down. It wouldn't go upside down, would it? No. It's looks like it's hot. Why am I doing this without gloves? Uh, one thing's for certain, I gotta bend these little guys back in place. These little contact pads got all bent out of shape. I'm not sitting right. Let's break out the good stuff. A little bit of this. Let's use it. Yeah, there you go. Big old blob on there. Fantastic. Look at that. That's how much faster that works. That's all we needed, the right tools for the job. Okay. So there's that. I just gotta grab my glue gun and glue my magnet in place, and I think we're gonna be good. I hope we're gonna be good anyway. Gotta find a battery. Right back. All right. Take a magnet. Stick her right in. Stick. It's easier said than done, folks. I'll just stay there. All right, here we go. I just gotta put a battery in her and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I ran down to the Radio Shack that's going out of business and I grabbed a little uh, button cell. This is a 2032 button cell. Uh, so we will see what this thing does now. All right. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna slip that right in there just, just to where we're inside. And make sure it all lines up right because these pads are a little finicky. There we go. There we go. It works! It works. Got a little light going. Fantastic. Yay. Okay, so this is kind of a cool little thing. So it's great if you are new to soldering. If you're not great at soldering, um, I'm not a master of it. So uh, so it's great if you're not if you need practice at soldering. Uh, this is a great little uh, cheapo uh, fun little thing to do, especially with the surface mount components because that's a big you know those are hard. Anyway, so there you go. You've got uh, you've got your PCB material and lots of little fun little printed things on here. Um, so the uh, this is the millimeter scale. And let's just go ahead and check for accuracy here. Not that I I doubt, but you know, you know I never know. Now this is of course my uh, this is my horror horror, horror fright Harbor Freight uh, caliper here, digital caliper. So it's I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but it's going to get us pretty darn close. Um, 151 centimeters, 150.7, right on the line, right there. And that is right on the line, um, 150 centimeters. So pretty darn accurate there. Good job. And then on the back we have inches here in sixteenths we have uh, inches again in thirty seconds so we've got both scales there and of course you got your bolt hole scales which you can cross reference with the uh, tables that he was so kind to send along um, and we have our gap widths in thousands let's see what we got here in thousands inches I can only go down to hundredths on this, so uh, I guess that's kind of moot. But, oh well, multiples of 10. I can do multiples of 10. So 10 thousandths would be 0.1 inch. Looks pretty accurate. Uh, and then we can do 30. Let's do 30. 3 inch. That looks pretty accurate. And then 40. 4 inch. 04. Pretty accurate there. 
And then on the side, of course, we have the more vernacular uh, measurements here. Uh, blonde, brunette, redhead, uh, Mediterranean. And from experience, I can tell you that yes, these are accurate. Um, anyway, and then of course there's a the little magnet here. There it is. Yeah, pretty strong neodymium magnet there. Uh, so that's really it. That is AVE's uh, Shop Ruler version 1.0, and uh, it's a fun little toy, and it's something I'm definitely going to keep on my desk. And uh, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, go and pick one up and support his channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting stuff. Meanwhile, until next time...